What I'd like you to do, I will get you started. I don't care the order, guys, with this. Just fill it in, going left to right and filling it all in. What's the rest of my electron configuration? Yes. No, 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 do it, do it. Don't say it a lot. I love the enthusiasm. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Ooh, I'm only at 2p6. 3s2, 3p6. I'm going to stop for a second now. This is what a lot of people want to do, and I love it. You're like, wait a minute. After 3p, I went to 4s. You don't need to think that hard. This is just a, um, an address. I like to just literally read across. It's not wrong to do this one next or do that one, but why would I want to worry about an order and then maybe forget one. So I would just go straight across. You're not wrong if you did the 4S first, but I'd write 3D6 and then 4S2, right? Okay. So that's the intro for that. If you could flip the page over, please. <coughs> so I have a Panda Pal. And the Panda Pal was invited to the Panda Party, and they're bringing pineapples and prickly pears and pepperoni pizzas with pomegranate paste into Pulaski. And my Panda Pal shows up and is perplexed. There is no sighting of the Panda Party, but you know where the Panda Party is. So... What would be the first direction that you would give your panda pal? What would be the first thing you tell your panda pal? You need to find the panda party first. It's a panda party predicament. You need to look. You need to find the party. What would be the first direction? What would be the first direction? What would you tell your friend? Your panda party pal is over here. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of... What's the first thing you tell them to help them fig figure out where this party's at? <laughs> you tell them Elm Street, right? If you're like, I have no idea why, then you need to look harder. Okay, so now my panda pal is here. What's the next thing you want to tell them? <laughs> Apartment building six. Whoops, sorry. So that's Elm Street. You don't have to write any of this down. Don't write this down. Don't write this down. <laughs> this is not actually chemistry yet. <laughs> So wait, where does the panda come into play? It's not the banana. It's not the banana, no. So that's the sixth apartment. Then what would you tell them? The penthouse? No. The seventh floor, right? And then what? The second room, right? So basically, it's a direction, right? Or an address. Well, it has balloons. It's like the movie Up. You'll just float away. All right, so what we're going to do, please make a really big uh, electron right here. Put it exactly where I have it. And what I'd ask you, please stay with me, do one of these at a time. Guys, what we're about to do is sometimes there's an individual address. It's called a quantum number. And you're going to be like, oh, wait, I can handle this. So if my... If I'm trying to find this, check it out. First, look at it. There's energy level one, two, three, four. So if I want to find this, first I have to tell the reader what level it's on. So please write underneath. Just don't go ahead of me. The first number, just like the street sign, the first number is figuring out what level it's on. Okay? So we'd say what level? Four. four. Makes sense? Sure. Yeah, please. Then... I, this, guy, this has to make sense. If I'm on this four right now, now you would say, like, which apartment? Like, is it in the S? Is it in the P? Is it in the D? Or is it in the F? You can't write F, though, because these are called quantum numbers. So, no. This is called the sublevel. And what we do, thank goodness it's not some weird, funky number system. It's either a zero, one, two, or three in order. It's zero, one, two, or three. So what number would we give this one? We give it a three because it's, it's in the F. 
Okay. Now, and I know you're probably still writing. Now I know I'm in the F. What would I have to tell the next? I'd have to say which one of these, right? Okay. That gets tricky. Can't be like, oh, uh, it's the second one from the left side. I mean, like, th that gets confusing. So here's a system that hopefully makes some sense. We take the middle and we assign it a zero. And then you just go right or you go left. If you go right, it's positive. If you go left, it's negative. And hang with me. This will make sense when I show the other ones. Like that's zero. Well, to the right, it's plus one. Left, it's minus one. So what do you think this one is? Plus two. Plus two. Minus two. Here's the tricky one, actually. What is that? If there's nothing else, it has to start at zero. So where am I on this one? It's negative two. Good. Yes, I would. I, you know, I don't know if you need to write every one of them, but I'm just giving you the guide to how we get it. The last one, don't get confused by the plus and the minus. I'm already telling you how the numbers work. You either write a plus half or a minus half. That's it. It's literally if it's pointing up or if it's pointing down. So this one's pointing up, so it's a plus one half. So the quantum number, the address for this electron is 4, 3, negative 2, plus one half. Okay? So what I'd like you to do right now in any open space, please try to do these other three. You don't need to make lines. You just make a number, comma, number, comma, number, comma. Okay? So give it a shot. And so you'll do the energy level first, then what sublevel it's on, and then where on the sublevel, and then if it's pointing up or pointing down. So just to make sure we're doing this right, just help me out with this one. What's the first number on this? Three. It's a three, so it's third energy level. Then I gotta say it's in here, so I'd say a one for P. Then I gotta say which one it's on, so this one is a zero, and then it's a Plus one half, right? Yep. Okay. Good. These are the other two answers. And if you're not ready, don't look up. Just don't look up. So notes so far. I have one more thing to go over. Mr. Neubauer is going to hand out the worksheet. Let's just stay at this level because we've got to talk about an assignment that's due actually in a week and a half from now. But I want to talk about it. This next Friday is October 23rd. And like uh, math has pie day on March 14th, that's mole day. So set your alarms at 6.02 a.m. You don't want to miss a single minute of mole day. 6.02 to 6.02 next Friday is mole day. And what we will have is the Molympics, okay? And you have two, well, really three assignments. We get homework on Monday. Not really. Yeah. Shh. On the website to the right, we are not printing these off for you. You have a week and a half to do this. You click the Molympic rings, and you have two things you have to do. One, create a mole. Now, we're not going to sit here and make you have fun and make you be creative. So if you're sitting there and you want to do the bare minimum and just do some shading with a pencil and just not get into this, then just do the participation part and you get the points. Otherwise, you could potentially win more points for your team and or win potential awards for it. 
So this is a template of it. You cut these all out, and there's some uh, suggestions like Moly Cyrus and Mokul Phelps. Um, I want to show you some of the, the best ones I ever got. This is a Mola Lisa. So it's not part of that, but they got creative. Um, this is Nikki Molage. Uh, Molkel Jackson. And they use fabric. They just cut it out as fabric and said, I mean, you can just do paper. Like, this is paper. Clay Malthews. And then my favorite of all time, I thought it was really creative. I don't know if you can see this. This is a s'mores <laughs> instead of a s'mores. Uh, I wouldn't want to eat it. Yeah, <laughs> looks like a graham cracker. So that's that. Then, again, you don't want to put in a lot of effort. That's fine, but you have two color moles. Please listen to this. It says, do not print from the images. Print from the blue links. I cannot change this. When you open this up, it goes to these thumbnails. I have the thumbnails there so you can see the pictures, but if you click one of them, it's my favorite one, it's guacamole. Problem is if you print it, it's that big. So what you have to do is you scroll up and you click it from the link and voila, you have guacamole. Ingredients for one bowl of guacamole, 6.022 times 10 23rd avogadros. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you will get some of them. Uh, here's your last item, and I'm, I'm done with this. You have four different options. You can make it most Wisconsin. So I saw some funny things with bears and Viking stuff or badgers and whatever. You can make it tough. You can make it really cute. Or you can just be really good at coloring it. Again, those are the categories that you can enter if you would like. That is due next Friday. By next Friday. So you, yeah, you can enter two. You enter two of those. You got to color two pictures. Okay.